today I'm, I'm preparing this clay for for this, for um, throwing. This is the first stage of the conditioning the clay or the wedging process. This is clay that I have reclaimed from the throwing from when I throw. This is the, the slip, the remaining slip, what is called the slip. Um, the excess, the clay that has been, um, you know, resulted from the throwing. And now I'm using, I've, I've dehydrated it or had it dried out. And this is um, the result. And it's at, this, at the, the right stage. It's moist, Can't, shouldn't be too moist, but um, so that I can handle it, I can, I can wedge it. So this is how I do the wedging. The beginning, I do this, this 10 times, I cut it in two. And then I, I turn it and the next portion on top. And this is, should combine the, the whole, the clay, the whole clay so that it is in, in the right condition to be, to be thrown. So I do this 10 times. This is the fifth time. And then I cut it in two again. That's five. That is, this is the sixth time. And I put on top of each other. Press it down and I put it in two again. That's seven, I think, or seven, I think, yeah. This is eight. I do half turn. Turn it the other side and put it on top. So it, the idea is to combine the whole clay so that by the time at the end of the ten sections is the same consistency throughout. At least that's the idea. That's what I'm trying to achieve. Probably should do it longer, but um, 
I don't think I turned it correctly, but usually, usually it works. I said this is the first stage. Okay, let's, let's do it one more time. I think it's probably turn my right hand. Kind of lost count. So after I've done it that way, then I do this. I do the wedging, another phase of the wedging, another stage. This clay is rather hard. <laughs> I think it dried out a little bit too much. But I can soften if it's too hard. I can put it in a plastic bag and add some water to it. Eventually, it softens. But hopefully, it should be okay. Quite a lot of screens to do this. Oh. Three, and I do this a hundred times. I should do it a few more times. 110. Alright, so after I've done that, then I'm gonna load it out. Elongate it somehow. Ah, and I do that by rolling it like this. Put them into sections and then I wedge it again. I wedge each piece, each section that I cut off. So today I'm going to do some, I'm going to make a set of canisters. And so I'll weigh it out each section. I want to weigh them one and a half pounds, two pounds, and three pounds. set of canisters. This 
process also conditions the clay. So it just combines it, makes it manageable. Makes it the right consistency to be so. Stop there. And then I'll wait. Let's see. So I want one and a half pounds. Let's see. This is about that. This looks like it. Okay, that's one and a half pounds. Good. And then I want two pounds. to the correct so I'm going to take some off which is I'll just take some off here hopefully I can get it two pounds yeah approximately a little bit over the okay two pounds and then I want three pounds over three pounds. I'll take some off. Let's see. No. Oh, but let's see. Okay, that's two and a half. Okay, you know what? I'll just use this. It's a little bit over three pounds. I'll just use it. Oh, maybe I could try this. Let's see. Okay, that's three pounds. And so the rest I'm gonna okay. and I'm gonna need covers for this canister so this, the first one will be about a pound and that's for the first cover the next one will be a little bit more let's see one and a half pounds mm -hmm. a little bit over quarter maybe okay second one and this third one will be the same thing a little bit more yes just a little bit that's just a pound um that probably should be should do it but I think I'm gonna need more on it Make sure it's, it's accurate. But a little bit more and more. Okay, let's see. It's about yeah, a little bit more. Just 
just to make sure it fits. Three pounds I have, three canisters, and this I can use for add to one of them. This was what? Two and a half pounds. Can add this. Okay, now let, let me wedge. Okay, so that I weighed them out, and now I'm going to wedge each each piece, each section of clay. This I do fifty times two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. And the process is, is kneading, but it's more than kneading because each time I push it down, I'm turning it. So it's a kind of circular motion. So that's how it, it, the clay is conditioned and remove any air bubbles. So it's, it's pushing it down in a kneading process, but at the same time turning it. Okay, and the more one does it, it's, it's easier. It is at first, it's very awkward, but I've been doing it for some time now, so. become easy and then I cut it this is check for ear bubbles and there no no ear bubbles so this one is ready and so I do each each of those clay like that each section that I prepared so that's that one is ready for throwing. Ready for throwing. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here.